Welcome to the critique. Today I am bringing another episode of Afwa Rose the Manslayer and her moist male supporters. Let us expose the idiocracy of the black feminist movement. A movement which main purpose is to bring division and destruction to the black family by destroying the man, his image and remove his manhood into a weak, non-producing shadow of what the Most High had created him to be. Peace family. All right, so a white feminist reached out to me and she told me she felt I was very powerful and basically she tried to persuade me with compliments to be a part of the feminist movement. She said she felt I was fighting the wrong cause and that sexism was worse than racism because women have always been discriminated against, have always been oppressed, have not had the same equal rights as men no matter what the race and she thought I would be a major asset to the movement. And so I want to go ahead and address this so everybody knows where I stand when it comes to feminism, especially black feminism. Black feminism branched from white feminism, which initially had absolutely nothing to do with the black man or the black woman. The only reason the white woman reached out to the black woman was because she needed numbers, was because she needed signatures. The same way this white woman only reached out to me was because she thought I would be an asset. The same way politicians only pay black people any attention when they need our votes. Okay, so the white feminism, it had absolutely nothing to do with us. It had everything to do with the white man not treating the white woman right. It had everything to do with the white woman not having the same equal rights as the white man. But the black man and black woman got their equal rights at the same time. So even though the white woman was telling the black woman that the black man had more rights and more privilege than them, in all actuality, the white woman had more privilege and more rights than both the black man and the black woman. And so they whispered these ideas of integration into their ear, which is nothing but the illusion of inclusion. And because of that, it has been the biggest destruction of the black family and one of the most detrimental things that had ever happened to the black community ever. And still today, black women are still hollering about equal rights when the unemployment rate for black men is at 18 percent. Black women are more likely to be hired by a job now than black men. Black women can get more student loans now than a black man. A black woman that can't provide for her child financially can get assistance. A black man that can't provide for his child financially is going to go to jail. So sisters, I'm not sure what we're hollering about when it comes to equal rights because it seems the black man is the one that doesn't have equal rights. We have more privilege than him. And what corporations do these black men own to tell you you can't have equal pay? It's not the black man that you should be mad at, sisters. You got to look at it as a game of chess. Even though these white feminists say they hate their men, you got to know that they are still the mate of this white man. So they're going to protect that white king as they should in a game of chess. You should be protecting your black king. But see, they have infiltrated the black community by getting the black woman to turn her back on the black man. The welfare program is a perfect example, which tells us, sisters, that if you need help or want help from the white man, you have to turn your back on the black man. You have to give up the black man. If you want to live in these apartments, your children cannot have a father in the home. Also, think of another family structure that it it brings about. Think of what it does to our career mothers. Okay. Now they say that the most educated group of people in America now is the black woman. And I love that. But so many of our sisters now have these careers and have these degrees. And all of a sudden they don't see value in the black man. They don't need a man. They don't want a man. And so a lot of them don't want families. They don't want to reproduce or they wait until they're no longer fertile to try to reproduce and have complications in their pregnancies. Or they already have children, but they don't spend any time with them because they're always working. It used to be the man would be the one providing for the family and the woman would stay home and teach and nurture the children. And together they would raise the children. Now children aren't being raised, they're just being maintained. Putting a roof over their head, feeding them and clothing them, that's maintaining a child like a pet. That's not raising them. You understand? And so that is one of the, that is a really big issue when it comes to the black family. And all of that came about from this feminism shit. Another thing that this feminist thing has done is this Planned Parenthood thing. Planned Parenthood is formerly known as the Negro Project and the, the founder of the Negro Project was a woman named Margaret Sanger which was a racist woman that said black people are like human weeds that need to be exterminated. And now these Planned Parenthood clinics are concentrated in predominantly black urban areas and the majority of the abortions done in America are done by black women. They say the number one killer of blacks is abortion. A lot of people would debate that and say you can't kill something that's not alive, but you are destroying a life that is growing inside of you. That is killing. You are helping us exterminate ourselves. These white feminists, they are not your friend. They are the mate of these white men that want you gone. 
And think of also what it does to our children that are growing up without fathers in the home. Think of our daughters that don't have fathers. And so they go out here and they do everything they can to get male attention. A lot of times that brings them back into the welfare program as single mothers themselves. I'm not saying that's always the case, but it's too common for us to ignore. Also think of our young brothers. I'm not even going to address homosexuality. Let's talk about those brothers that whose mothers don't know how to discipline them correctly. They don't have fathers. They're not being taught any type of manhood either. And so they go into these schools. The teachers don't know what to do with them. So they throw them in special ed. And we all know special ed is nothing but a holding cell for black boys until they're old enough to go to jail. That's all that is. It is one of the most detrimental things that has ever happened to the black community. And I will not stand by it. One more thing that I want to address is this damn campaign that tells sisters love your body regardless of what a man thinks it ain't got nothing to do with the man the way you treat your body you understand they they praise and glorify obesity in the black community but they don't do that in the white community only in the black community and now the leading causes of death for black women are diabetes heart disease stroke and cancer they tell you to love your body love the skin you're in don't let no man make you not love your body but they don't tell you to love yourself enough to eat right they don't tell you to love yourself and have enough self-respect for yourself to not kill yourself by what you shoving down your throat you get what i'm saying don't these white women they're not your friend they're not your friend and i do not stand by any of it i refuse to turn my back on the black man to hold hands with some white chick the war on our black man has been insane has been insane they have done everything they can to destroy the black man to destroy the image of the black man They want you dead, they want you gay, they want you incarcerated, and they want us to see no value in you. And I'm not supporting that feminism shit. I'm just not. I really am not. And it was an insult to me that somebody would even approach me with that shit. It was an insult to my intelligence. It was an insult to my loyalty to the black community. It was an insult to the black man. And if you're insulting the black man, you are insulting me because we are reflections of each other. It was an insult to my ability to think for myself because a lot of these black feminists, not all of them, but a lot of them, they just don't think for themselves. They're just listening to what white people are telling them about black men. They are listening to these celebrities that are telling you that girls run the world and we don't need men while all the while they sitting at home married to one. They're watching these television shows where all of these black women are single and yet they're successful. Yeah, I think for myself, I don't need this programming. It was an insult. It was an insult. So, yes, no, I would never ever be a feminist. I stand by the black man and I love my black man and I would never ever turn my back on him. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Now you know where I stand with feminism. Hopefully nobody will ever ask me to be a part of that movement ever again. This sister broke down the black feminist movement perfectly. Thank you, sister. I appreciate your wisdom and insight into this deceptive movement. Please subscribe, comment, share, and hit the bell notification to get notified of all new videos. Thank you.